Good morning. It is February 21st and it's my hubby's birthday. And so shout out to him. Happy birthday, babe. Uh, thanks for taking me shopping yesterday and getting all this nice stuff. Okay. So I'm going to go around my bed here and we're going to start with the Dollarama haul. I didn't get a lot there because I didn't really need a lot and uh, I have a lot of stuff anyway. So first, I'm going to talk about the paint stuff. We are going to be refinishing an old dresser. Tori found a thrift find uh, dresser that she's going to turn into a little entertainment stand for Lucas's room at her house. So we got some paint supplies. And you guys, this is the place to go to for paint supplies. Do not be going to the hardware store or, sorry, <laughs> do not be going to the hardware store or, you know, I mean, they get you. You're getting your paint, you're getting it colored and whatever. Um, and then you're going to grab all their stuff. It's like ridiculously overpriced. And unless you were doing something like a really nice antique or something for regular wall painting, oh, dollar store all the way. I got five brushes for, for $2. I got a roller, uh, they're foam rollers. I don't know how much that costs. A dollar 25. Um, the rolling it, uh, thing itself, a dollar 25. And I think the tray was $3. So $3, I mean, really, it's for the price of a roller at Home Depot. Anyway, that's just my rant on um, hardware stores and their prices. So I will put that aside. I also picked up this gorgeous tray. I love this, the detail on the side of this. We've got um, some crates downstairs in our rec room that we're using as a sort of an end table, sort of to hide cabling that we've got um, because we've run cabling all over the place. Um, and I thought this could go on top of that and it's the perfect size. I measured it up and it's cute and it will make be like a little end table. So when we start to be using that space, um, I'll be able to, uh, use that tray. I love it. Okay. The next thing, yes, deco mesh spring has sprung and I finally, finally got some deco mesh. That's the right size for making my wreaths that I want to make. So I got a plethora of spring colors and I'm excited to play with that. So uh, stay tuned because I will film, either film what I've finished or film me kind of making it or whatever. The last thing that I got were three packs of these zipper seal extra large bags. I've been going through a lot of my Ingram Creations um, inventory and some of the blankets. Yes, I've put them in totes and I've packaged them up, but I want to protect them because it may be a while before I can go to craft shows. And I don't want to give the stuff away because it's good. It's I could, you know, I spent a lot of time on it. So if I want to store it properly, I'm going to put it in these zipper sealed bags. So you get three very large bags and um, like they're big Ziplocs. So that's what I'm going to do. They are not the vacuum seal ones. I didn't want that, although I could have gotten those. I just didn't see the sale on those. But these were $1.25 for three or $1.75, sorry, for three bags. So you can't go wrong there. So the next thing that I picked up, and I've been looking for one of these on Amazon, and I ended up finding one at the dollar, uh, Dollarama, and they're little finger sanders. So when I'm doing my crafts, I work with a lot of that kind of particle board or the like press board or whatever it is, and I, you know, stain it and cut it up, and sometimes I need to give something a sand. So I thought this would be really cute and very portable, and I like it. It's got uh, three different grades of sandpaper in there that go with it, and it was $3.50. I'm sure the M I know in the, the one that I was looking at in my Amazon cart was like seven or eight dollars plus shipping. The next thing I found were these little greenery orbs. <laughs> That's what they're calling them. Um, I just want to like throw that into like a little pot that I, you know, decorate. And they were a doll. Uh, uh, they were three dollars, but they're adorable. And one of them is like kind of like almost like cedar looking. And then the other one's like a boxwood. So I got three of those. I have an idea on what I want to do with them. Okay. The next thing I got was for Miss Abby. And I mean, who does not like LOL pom-pom headband? Abby loves them. I mean, maybe others don't, but Abby does. So I'm going to put that probably as filler. Um, Easter's coming soon. Some more greenery. I am like stuck on florals. I got some um, baby's breath. I'm going to put that in my Valentine's wreath before I put it away. I thought it still looked a little sparse and I thought I could uh, decorate it with that. And then I got these really cute picks that have um, Easter eggs on them, the euca eucalyptus with Easter eggs. I love these and be prepared because they are going to go into uh, a cute DIY. So I will show you that. Okay. Coming around the end of my bed now. Okay. Here is like the things I got from Amazon. They came in yesterday and I was extremely excited. 
These are adorable. They are lamb's ear picks, and I cannot find them anywhere. Um, like not at Dollar Tree or Dollarama. Walmart doesn't have them. Um, I know that um, Michael's was closed for a long time and it was curbside pickup and they had no great deals on them. They were like $25 for a garland that was not even this plentiful. So I was not paying that. So I managed to find those for about $7. I also found um, some uh, pretend play makeup set and Abby's been asking for like bead kits and stuff. And these ones actually pop into each other almost like Lego. And these were a steal, you guys. I think I paid maybe 20 bucks for both. And there's lots and lots of fun. I'm really, really getting lucky with my Amazon finds and keeping her busy when we were in lockdown. And also Easter's coming up, her birthday's coming up. And she did do some jobs for us, a little of the jobs around the house. So her little allowance, it will not cover that, but you know, she's earned some some treats. Lucas's are coming in uh, tomorrow, so I will film that and then I can add those together and show you what I got. Okay, so here is the big haul. This is, I've been waiting for Dollar Tree to get in their Easter stuff. I've been, I'm a spring girl, love spring, love all of the colors, love everything about Easter and spring and the fact that yucky winter is over. So I was extremely excited to find they had their, some of their spring signs and Easter signs were out. Okay, first things I found, I couldn't believe I found this paper. I've been looking for like, a, 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 can't even speak, sorry guys. I've been looking for some, not neutral, but just plain paper. And Dollar Tree on an end cap had a couple of sheets I liked. So I got some, uh, two sheets of that pink and one sheet of this kind of herringbone black and white. I was able to find one of the, coveted wooden um, bunny signs. I have an idea in mind for that. I also found these really cute bunnies. There's eight in a pack for a garland, but I have another couple of ideas for that. I also found the carrots. I am on the hunt for the eggs, the plastic eggs. In the background, you can see baskets are a plentiful out at Dollar Tree. And I don't know if these are just going to be Abby's Easter basket or if she's going to be able to play with them. I don't know yet. I could not pick, so I bought them all because at a dollar like fifty or dollar twenty-five, why choose? So I got the cute unicorn one, purple, and I also picked up these amazing mermaid baskets. And these are really good quality. They're like a felt. They've got kind of like a shimmer pattern on them. They're not nest. They don't have to be for Valentine's Day. She could actually store little stuffed animals. This young girl is all about the little things, the little tiny stuffies, the little things. I got a container store her stuff she just does not um a big toy box doesn't work for her okay so i'm told that around easter all of the fillable eggs they go i picked up the speckled ones because i liked them and i thought they would be that's sort of a hot item i see a lot of people on youtube doing diy crafts with that i also picked up this adorable little stander it's a it's a shelf sitter it's a little sign if i don't end up using it for decor i could certainly turn it into a frame, pop it off. Um, lots of potential for these signs. I always grab a couple um, when they come out. And the other one that they had was this one. <laughs> this chick's ready for Easter. And I'll tell you, this chick right here, I am certainly ready for uh, spring and Easter. I love when winter is over. Okay, now the thing that made me very happy, I love the Dollar Tree signs. I don't care if they're cartoony. I don't care. I love them. Um, I They just... And the kids love them. So this one, look at this cute blue truck with that says Happy Easter, the bunny jumping in there. Carrots, adorable. That's going to go on one of the um, doors. I have five doorways to uh, put signs on. And um, here's the next one. The cute, it's cute little pink truck with the Easter eggs in it. And the bunny's uh, hopping in there. It says Happy Easter. Yes, these will only be for Easter. I may end up finding a way to make them spring as well, but probably not. I also picked up a set of the little decorative speckled eggs. These are like, they're just plastic. They're just not fillable. They're for baskets and stuff to just decorate. I got that. And I also picked up some of their plastic buckets. One's got the cute bunny print and the other's got the eggs. I didn't get the yellow one. They, uh, the, the one that was there kind of seemed a little bent. There was something wrong with the handle, so I didn't buy it. I also bought the Spanish moss, or sorry, the floral moss. I couldn't find the Spanish one. I picked up, <laughs> there was only one of these left, so I made Dawn grab it for me because Abby is super into LOL right now. Maybe I'll 
give that to her before Easter or I'll certainly, I'm certainly starting to gather um, basket filler for the kids' baskets. And on the bottom, look at this cute tray. I'm redoing my office. Look at the cutouts on this. And I didn't just buy this one. Um, you can see to the left, to the right, I have got tons more. I'll show you those. But these are adorable cutout plastic baskets. Uh, this one's the letter size. I bought a few more for my office. And I also bought the pink set. I'm not sure if I'm going to go with pink in my office or the green, but I will find uses for them all. Look at these signs. I am in love. The pink Happy Easter will go with the pink truck. The um, the welcome. There is a spring. It says welcome. And then it says um, like happy spring or something. I will show you the summer one. I did not find the welcome summer sign, but I'm on the hunt. And I love this one. This blue happy Easter sign. Uh, so in love with these. I don't know. They're just so cute. And look at this. I will find a way to incorporate this into my home. Isn't this precious? I just love this. I love this. Even if they were to become coasters, maybe I didn't hang it, but I were to make them coasters or turn them into little shelf sitters or something. This, I'm going to flip the sign over. And this is the summer one. Oh, I'm really, I love sunflowers. I love any flowers actually. And um, this is adorable. There is a welcome sign that matches this. And then there, this one also comes in welcome spring with the blue truck and the pink and blue writing. So again, I am on the hunt. I will be finding them. Okay. So here is something I've been really waiting for is these little cutting boards <laughs> that say fresh carrots and my absolute favorite. This is going in my kitchen. I don't care. It's not a cutting board. It's just going in as decoration. Uh, it's Cottontail and Company Egg Farm. How adorable is that? I think bunnies will sort of be the theme for my decorating this year um, for spring. And the last one, oh my heck, I have, I love this. This is just encompasses to me. These are my colors. This is my, there's, there's the butterfly, hello spring with the blue truck. I love this. This will probably go in my bedroom drawer and I don't care that it's cartoony. I don't care. It's adorable. All right. So gush over with down to business. I need to organize. I need some things for organization in my kitchen. I thought these were stunning. I know, how can a plastic bin be stunning? It's super cute. Look at this. This is gorgeous. It looks like lace. I love it. I'm going to do something with these, put some stuff in there. I may wrap it with ribbon. I don't know, but they're pretty sturdy and they fit a lot of things, but I just don't like the clear plastic bins in the kitchen. I don't like clear plastic bins at all. I don't like to see what's inside unless I want to see what's inside, unless what's inside is pretty, but if it's just boring, I want it out of there. Look at those cutouts though. That's gorgeous. So then the other thing I showed you the, um, the green, um, bin, but they now have cutout bins in other sizes. Look at that. It's gorgeous. I can organize my craft supplies, my office supplies, and it's pretty and it's daisies and really that again, flowers speaks to me. You know, I did get as well, a set of these in look at that la um look at that mint green oh my god it's like a frosted mint chocolate bar from a C cord look at that how beautiful those cutouts are okay and i did get this size as well so lots of different sizes lots of different options for my office and the last thing that i didn't show you over here is these snap closed containers these are perfect to throw things in the kids lunches and I could not resist getting the pink and the mint green. And I got the blue for Luke because he's not all about any kind of like girly colors. So, um, and yeah, I know colors are not gender specific, but whatever. He thinks they are. And if it makes him happy, I got him blue. So these are great. I can put some fruit in here. I can put some little goldfish or whatever, and then I can clean them up. Abby has a set of these. Um, one of them is, is just that size. And then the other is the sandwich size. We are constantly like washing them the night before we have to pack our lunch. So it would be nice to have some extras. I'm on the hunt for the sandwich size ones, but I did not see them at the stores I visited. So I'm going to pause this. And I'm going to clear this up and come back. You guys, Michael's was open. This girl has returned to the mothership and all is well. So just hold on. I'm going to restage the bed and show you all the stuff I got from there. Okay, you guys, I'm back. So... Let me get my fingers out of the way and hold my phone properly. So this is, um, I've got these in three separate areas. So this is my haul that I got from 
Walmart, or not Walmart, Canadian Tire. Don went into Canadian Tire to get his fishing license and he left me unattended and, um, you know, all hell broke loose. So I have been wanting a buffalo plaid throw for my couch downstairs and this one is the, the actual buffalo plaid with the, um, the black and white check as well. So I'm so happy. This was regularly 50 bucks. I saw it on their website. I got it for $17. And if I can get another one, I'm going back for another one because these are the type of blankets that we like to snuggle up in in the winter. I am hoping that by next winter, my rec room will be a place where we like to go down and spend more time. Sorry, my hand is shaking here. Um, the next thing that you're going to see is lots of Super Mario and a little bit of LOL. I found that in this particular Canadian tire, they had a party city and Lucas's birthday is coming up and I got the line, you guys. I got the whole line. So I got the table decorating kit at the back so I can make it look fancy for him. I also got these streamers. I got um, a five, um, or sorry, is that three? Five balloons that you just blow up. You don't need helium for those. I got some plates. I got the small, those are the small ones. Here's the big ones. There's Super Mario, Mr. Mario himself. I got two cups in Mario and I also got the tablecloth. How adorable. That's cute. All of his friends are there. I got this pack of 48 pieces. Um, I don't think, I don't know if we're going to be able to have parties in April. I'm just going to grab some stuff and then I'll use some of it for basket filler. Maybe, I don't know. Maybe I'll just keep it for his birthday and just give him some special things after that. I also got the napkins. There's uh, Bowser. And I also got the candles and I also have a candle that has his year. He's going to be eight. Oh my God. I can't believe he's going to be eight. The other thing I found was this little LOL book. They didn't have, um, a Mario, um, color book. I'm going to look and see if they do have one, but I found the LOL book. That's going to remind me I'm going back next to get all Abby's. Her birthday is a month later, so I've got some time, but I thought I wanted to grab all this. It was on sale and I thought that was a good deal. So, okay, well, let's move over here. This was Walmart. I was so excited to see these chargers. These were like just a dollar something, dollar something. Yeah, dollar fifty. What are they? Dollar two bucks. And they look like the farmhouse style. They look really cute. I'm gonna use these in decorating for the whole spring, maybe even summer as well. I love them. And you just put the regular plate on top. But I these are gonna go into my kitchen. I'm gonna find a spot for them, and I'm gonna use these more often to decorate and I found more greenery yes I'm obsessed with the eucalyptus and the boxwood style I'm going to be I've got more projects and I just didn't want to be short in case there was another rush on crafting because I have been not able to find some things I'm looking for to finish some projects I need to finish so Michaels I thought I bought more at Michaels but I actually showed great restraint probably because Donnie was in there <laughs> in there with me and kind of looking at me like what do you need that for I found this really, it's a really nice um, egg cutout, but it's super thick. And I think that would be one that I could either put on a um, outside door or I could um, do something really cool with that. Then I've been looking for neutral color background papers like the shiplap. I found, finally found some Buffalo <laughs> Jack. I mean, we're not even in winter anymore, but, or we're in winter, but we're not in Christmas anymore, but I'm gonna keep this and maybe fin finish off some um, projects that I've got on the go. I know my mom was saying to me yesterday, why are you working on Christmas? Well, because I'm not allowed to work on the cool stuff until I finish all the stuff that I had bought project material for before. So this one is a paper pad and it's got some more neutral kind of background stuff. I'll just flip so you can see. Look, oh, look at that. More wood, some shiplap there, brick, weathered. Look at that. I love all this stuff. I'm going to be able to make so many things with this and this will be this will come in handy and that was on um 40 off and here's where i got my easter jam on i love this sign little cottontail it's a shelf sitting sign it's pretty thick and so you just sit it on a shelf it's going to go in the top of my tiered tray i already have ideas on how i'm going to decorate look at this adorable little bird <laughs> nest i know I, abby probably had one from last year that i could have borrowed but i don't know where that went it was actually a real bird's nest and I can't find any real, like not real, but I can't find any large tulips. These are cute. I have an idea for my tiered tray for these. And again, like I could not pass up these picks. 
I just kept, Don was just rolling his eyes and sighing a whole bunch of times, which is why he's not allowed to come into Michael's anymore. If he wants to police me, he needs to do it quietly. Um, I got some of these candle cups. They are going to be legs for some risers that I'm making. And then I found these like wooden eggs and I thought I could do something fun with these and some um, napkins, do a little decoupage project. I'm not so good with the Mod Podge, you guys, but anyway. So that is the extent of my haul. My favorite stuff is all the Easter and um, spring stuff. I love spring. I've already said that. I'm sorry. Anyway, that's it. I've said a lot. This is a long video. I'm really sorry. But if you stay till the end, cool. And um, yeah, talk to you soon. And I will hopefully get a video for you on some of the things I make with this stuff. Take care. Bye.